141 at 140. Jumping switch kick just misses from Derek Lewis. 143. Oh, good shots from Lewis. Dorcas is hurt. Dorcas is hurt bad. He's out. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. He's surviving big shots, though. Holy fuck. Credit to Dorcas' chin. Credit to Dorcas' chin. But Lewis is in the clinch. Good knee to the body. Dorcas throws back with some heat. But he gets put out. He's out. He's out. Round one KO. I'll take it. Give me that shit. Derek Lewis, baby. He's too small. You can't, you can't offer up the fucking resistance. Derek Lewis. Round one KO. Yeah. Yeah. Round one. Easy. You have to make Lewis respect you. He's too small. Lewis wins. Oh, he quit his job as well and he just got fucking BLM. <laughs> Derek Lewis just straight up defunded his chin. Thank you for the $2 hype free MMA. I appreciate you. Never disrespect the Black Beast underdog. Come on, I know. Good win from Derek Lewis. He's getting his leg chewed up though, but still, good win. Turns out Kyle Darkus told us backstage that he actually learned how to wrestle while escaping rape attempts from his older brother, Chris Darkus, as a child. And uh, he thanks him for that hard training early in his life as we see the urgency on the ground from him in many of his contests. Curtis Blades, his brother, was actually backstage, managed to tell us the reason behind the stutter, and down goes Dawkus, and he's out, and it's over for Dawkus. He covers up, and Blades goes for a finish. Big shots, and he's over. Dawkus is out cold. Blades gets it done. Not even a stutter. He's a former beatboxer, and he wants to return to his former career tonight. Blades gets it done by beautiful KO in the second round. Uh, tonight, that eye poke may have had something to do with it, but there goes Darkus as Blades does a victory lap around the octagon. Darkus has been KO'd once again in the heavyweight division, and Blades showing off a new set of hands that we haven't seen from him before. He's now going to call for a title shot delusionally, even though he knows the champion is out for nine months. He is a spastic, and that is what he does, even though he had a great win. Thank you for the $5. Well, when I was raped by my older brother, yeah, he jumps in, interrupts Anik, yeah. Thank you for the... Communicate with them for me. We're in. Rosenstrike, Dorcas. Thank you for the $2. Guru like strike based. Both guys take big shots early on. And Dorcas is rocked with a jab and rocked with a big knee. And he's looking to recover here. And he's out. It's over. He's done, taking big shots, trying to swing back, eating big shots. He needs to move, and he's down. It's over. He can't take shots against heavyweights. There we go. <laughs> Jazzinho Rosenstrike. Chris Dorcas, you're a fat welterweight. You're a stupid fat welterweight. Chris Dorcas, you're a fat lightweight. Chris Dorcas. Chris Dawkins, next for me. Chris Dawkins, can you do something for me? Can you file your application at the police station for me? Chris Dawkins, quit your job, Chris Dawkins, quit your job. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for the 10 HRK. You're done. Yeah. Chris Dawkins, can you do something for me? Can you make a new CV for me? Chris Dawkins, quit your job, Chris Dawkins, quit your job. <laughs> Sorry. Really rough to say that, but yeah. <laughs> Didn't he say he was suicidal before this fight? <laughs> Chris Dawkins, can you do some for me? Can you tie a rope to a noose next for me? <laughs> Chris Dawkins, tie a noose, Chris Dawkins, tie a noose. Tie a noose next for me. Chris Dawkins, can you... <laughs> Thank you for the $5. Johnny 890 Jazzinho's three and three in his last six. Special gatekeeping we are seeing indeed. Thank you for the $5, good sir, Janny890. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 